So Sarah, we just went through the numbers briefly, those that we have thus far. It sounds pretty encouraging. They had a little trouble, as I recall, last quarter because they beat earnings, but then they had some forward guidance that was disappointing. Yeah, that's right. And so I think that this really shows that Macy's has some spring in its step going into the holiday season. Uh, this is a strong beat here, and it suggests that a number of its turnaround initiatives are working. It's been focusing on things like expanding its online assortment, revamping its loyalty program, and it's adding these sort of store within a store it's called Market at Macy's that are providing some newness and more experiential retail. And I think this shows that those things are gaining some traction in the short term. The question remains for Macy's about the long term. The department store format is still challenged and are these things just stanching the bleeding or really making it into a different company yeah and one of the questions of course is margin what's going on with margin I don't see any numbers on that yet uh, but uh, how much margin pressure is there on Macy's at, at this point both from wages and from freight yeah, so those are big factors. I think actually for Macy's, the big uh, margin question has been on promotions and discounting. Um, when it had some sort of lackluster inventory, it was really having to rely on those tactics to move merchandise, and that had been weighing on gross margin. So it's been doing a good job generally in the last several quarters of managing inventory and not having to resort to discounts as much, uh, and I suspect that helped its gross margin in this quarter. Yeah, so uh, margin uh, for the first, hold on a second, for the 39 weeks ended November 3rd, and that's how they do it, uh, is actually up 39.9%, um, and that was up versus a year ago. So to your point, Sarah, uh, definitely still being able to manage those margins.